Have you ever wondered why ice melt works? Or maybe notice that the ocean doesn't freeze at the poles, even though it's definitely cold enough? It's because of a phenomenon chemists call freezing point depression. And no, the chemicals aren't sad. But what happens is when you have a mixture, the temperature at which it freezes is lower than the temperature of the pure substance. So mixtures freeze at a lower temperature. The neat thing about this is it doesn't depend on the identity of what's dissolved, just how much of that thing is dissolved. It has a special name. It's called a colligative property, which is also a fun word to say. Colligative properties are properties that don't depend on the identity of the substance, just how much of that substance is dissolved. So if I take, for example, salt, sodium chloride, and I dissolve it in water, Water, when it's pure, has a freezing point of zero degrees Celsius. But when I add salt to it, those two ions, the sodium and the chloride, come apart in the water, and they interfere with the water's ability to order itself into the solid state. They also increase something we call entropy of the overall system. So that means that that water will exist as a liquid state over a wider range of temperatures than just the pure water itself. If I dissolve something like calcium chloride versus sodium chloride, well, they get a little different because sodium chloride has a sodium and a chloride, two things dissolved. Calcium chloride, the calcium has a two plus charge. So I have one calcium, but I have two chlorides. I have three things dissolved. So for the same moles of those compounds, sodium chloride and calcium chloride, I get a different number of ions. So that means that more things are dissolved, more ions are in solution with calcium chloride. So it has a bigger impact on the freezing point and would lower even more than the sodium chloride. That's why ice melt is typically calcium chloride, but calcium chloride's pricier than sodium chloride. So we use rock salt, which is a mixture of the two. Sodium chloride isn't used entirely on its own because it's really corrosive. That's also why we don't put it in our cars as antifreeze. For antifreeze, we have water mixed with a glycol. So organics also, because the property doesn't depend on the identity of the substance, the organics also lower the freezing point. So that's why antifreeze works. And the ocean being as salty as it is, that's why the ocean doesn't freeze even at really low temperatures. Only the fresh water can freeze, not the salt water. And now you know everything you need to know about freezing point depression. Click here to learn more about intermolecular forces.